didn't know they had paintings up in this alley. It's cool. Oh, and it's got the... Well, that's the art exhibit out here. Well, look at that. It's got the little tags that say who did it. Eli Saragusi, would you wish you were here. Woman and a child, trailblazers, two ladies off to work, give love together, Tori Watson, let's see, the world is a melting pot and there is a plate for everyone, title of the artwork by Taylor Ayers. Unidos by Maria Ellis. That's cool. I didn't know they had a little art exhibit out in this alley. Love Athens. <laughs> I walk by there every day and I didn't realize that they had like paintings out on display there. I don't know if they're new. Hey babies. Hi puppets. Hey those sparrows. Oh, there's a mural over here. There's a lot of art around. I love like walking, but I'm like, I didn't know there was art there. Oh, that's pretty, isn't that, isn't that neat? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here and get some photos just of, isn't that neat? A neat space in there. Stillness is gone. <laughs> Boy, that's a neat space up in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I gotta. Oh, look at, woo, I gotta come in, come down here someday and just take some photos through those windows. That is, I've looked through, like, coming up the other side and thought that was really neat, but I love that old staircase up in there. Okay, um, are we now, oh, we're on Clayton Street. Sure. This way. And I just got off work and I'm just kind of wandering around. Um, I was cleaning the 40 Walk Club, which actually, um, since the club doesn't serve food itself, it's actually pretty easy to clean up. I mean, it's not like a terribly big deal. So it only takes a couple hours, usually if we're not doing like a super thorough clean. I mean, if we are, it only takes like three or four hours. So I was only up there for a couple hours cleaning, and now it's a nice day. It's 82 degrees, but the wind is blowing. Looks like there are a lot of people that are just like, it's nice. I'm just going to come outside and be outside today. It's a good thing. It's beautiful out here right now. So let me see. I'm actually going to go up and grab another one of these sodas I got earlier that's ginger hops soda and I don't usually like hops like I don't like hoppy beer I don't like beer in general anyway but I don't like the flavor of hops and fermented stuff but I saw this thing and I was like that's I like the way they smell and I was like well maybe if it's not fermented I'll like it more and so I got this ginger hops soda that tastes like fresh hops smells and it's just Oh, just a garbage just pooper. Uh, it tastes amazing. And I'm going to get some of it. I'm going to get another can of it since I drank the one I had. So I can uh, share it with my husband, who also likes the way hops smells, but not the way that it tastes. And so I'm going to get another soda just so I can take it home to him. Leaving the refrigerator all day. They've got the car right now at work. Ah, oh, I'm kind of... Ugh. Kind of sad, actually, today that they have the car because it's such a nice day. It would be a great day to go down to, like, the Greenway or something. That's a little too far for me to want to walk there and walk the Greenway, then walk home. And uh, I don't really feel like taking the bus. So. I don't know. But it's nice. It's beautiful out right now. It's a lovely day. Oh, 
I didn't bring him. My husband. The Bizarro Luxury that I walk past all the time. I don't walk past on the way home necessarily. But, well, I do, but I, I take an indirect route home so I can go th by the Luxury. Um, they have all these like little little like finger monster toys and stuff in like gumball type machines and we collected up all the quarters we could find floating around the house and I'm gonna go up there one day and just pump all of our quarters into their machines and get some stuff because I'm a dork I love the Wux Street though it's like a the bottom half is a record store the top half is an actual honest to god comic book shop it's been there forever it's been there when i was a little kid i used to walk down there and i would bag comic books when i was a kid sit on the floor in there and bag comic books and oh god i loved it but the comic book stuff is still there it's still going they still got a shit ton of comics i go in there all the time i don't buy comics very often anymore but i do go in there a lot But we're gonna go down and pop in. Oh, let me see. Where's my mask? I wanna go into Silly's up here. I'm looking at their shoe, keeping an eye on their used shoes. Where is it? There it is. I know I have it in here somewhere. I was wearing it earlier. Do wear a mask. I'm inside, wear a mask when I'm cleaning. Ah, I wear a mask if there are plants around that have pollen that are shooting off in the air. But I don't usually bother to wear a mask if I'm not in a terribly crowded area, because I think we're okay. I've been vaccinated for every damn thing on the planet at this point. See, I want to go in and check out Silly's clothing real quick. I'm looking at their shoes. I'm trying to find some shoes that don't have, that aren't made of mesh, so that my shoes will stop getting full of water when I'm washing stuff. This is uh, Jugman's daughter's brother, and I'm going to. Oh, those are cool looking. Look at those guys. What size is this? Eight. Oh. These are probably too small. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Definitely too small. Oh, those are cute. Those are vans. Sevens. <sighs> I really like these. These are eight and a half mediums. You know, I do really like these. I was looking at them yesterday. Oh. Let's see here.
Yeah, look at a bunch of these yesterday and they were just the wrong size. Too tight, I think. Where's oh, there? Yeah, those are seven and a half. Those are tiny. Those aren't bad looking. Those are vans. I know you're finding this super interesting. Eight and a half vans are not going to fit me. All right, those have that weird high heel in them. You know what? I really like these. I'm getting these flowery boots. I was kind of kicking myself for not buying them yesterday when I was in here. I am in here now. I have the money. I need them. Oh, those are nice, too. Oh, those are tiny. Look at those things. Tiny, though, right? Those are like sevens or something. Fives. This has that seven. <sighs> They just don't have sizes in it. All right, so these are my new work boots, I think. Oh, those. Cute. And... Oh, jeez. I can stand up. I can. Okay. Oh, Llama toys. Oh my god, look at these. Remember the old school My Little Ponies? They're like the My Little Ponies that I had right there. Oh my god, a little My Little Pony coat. Jeez. I forgot about that. You got the little like thingy. Oh man. I used to have so many My Little Ponies when I was a kid. Oh! Uh Home of R.E.M. and the B-52s. Absolutely. Hell yeah, baby. There are plaques all over. Oh, God. Elf power. There's a, a danger mouse. All right, I'm gonna buy my super cool new shoes hair. Oh, I, I looked at those yesterday and I've been like picking myself and finally I'm like, I gotta get it. Okay, come closer. The only reason I didn't snatch them up is because I have a hair almost exactly like it, but not as tall. Oh. And I'm so short. Yeah, like I came and saw them yesterday. I'm like, oh, maybe. Yeah, they look fine to me. Right, how much is it? Oh, uh, 4320. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, come on. Ooh! Lose my soda. No. Do I have any change in here? No, I don't. That's pretty. Uh, almost, but not quite. <laughs> 60. <laughs> yeah. Not quite enough small monies. I want my soda in my pocket. Thank you. Have a good Thank you. Get out of the way here. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Put this away. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, no, good, no alarm went off. Okay. Ah, oh, I take my mask off again. And I am going to, right, I'm going down here to the lazy shop where I got distracted. Went in here to buy these boots that I looked at yesterday. <laughs> I was, I was like kicking myself for not getting them yesterday. I'm like, ah, oh, they were like in my, in my, in my mind. And I even asked my kid, I'm like, what size shoes do you wear? You know, I'm like, maybe I'll get them for her if they don't fit me. 
have a new pair of ridiculous shoes now. What I want is this. Okay. Now. Uh, There's a walk straight. lighting a cigarette. Let's see. Yeah, I think they're permanently blocking this off over here. Um, it's been this way for a while now, so I think they're actually officially have made that into like an outdoor dining and congregation area. I wish they'd like pull the street up there and maybe put, oh, well, maybe they're going to maybe they'll make it nice. They're doing a lot of construction around here right now. Um, most of the construction projects that get done around here get done in the summer. Omnia cookies. Oh man, I didn't go there before and now I guess I never will. I found out like three months ago that I can't digest wheat basically. It's like celiac gluten intolerance shit and that's why I've been sick my entire life. And like with these weird symptoms that, like, no doctor could, like, it doesn't really make any sense. I don't know what's going on. I kept finally, they'd be like, maybe it's psychological, maybe it's, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. And then finally, one of them was like, well, maybe you just have a food sensitivity. So let's try this instead of, like, all this other shit. To see if this is maybe, like, just your body reacting to a chemical instead of something actually, like, wrong. Because I've had a lot of injuries in my lower back and, like, the middle part of my body and there's a lot of like nerve damage there and so like is it something nerve is nerve related no no it's just that I <laughs> over over a long period of time it just caused you know my body was not happy and I was just kind of generally unhealthy I just couldn't like keep weight up and so I was tired all the time and like you know low blood sugar and stuff and then I cut wheat out of my diet, and like six weeks later, I have a job. I haven't been able to work for 20 fucking years. I have a job now, just because that's all my body needed, was to cut that out, and then it could stop being inflamed everywhere, and my back doesn't hurt anymore. It's like, what the hell? So, okay, so we're going to come in here and grab... Another one of those weird hop sodas because I want my husband to try it. Pecan, I say pecan. I am Southern. Like, I keep my accent turned off most of the time. But, oh yeah. Like, if I actually, where did they go? They're hiding around here somewhere. There we go. Um. Now, I can turn on, like, this southern, southern, southern accent. My family is from, oh, God, like, Texas. <laughs> One of my aunts, my aunt that I grew up with mostly is from Texas. So, Nacogdoches, Texas. So, she had, like, a super, super southern accent. And, huh? Let's see. That's like... Alright. Give her a chance. Oh, she was good. 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 She
Hey, my buddy just finished an awesome mural in Athens. REM, rapid eye movements. REM is a band. Uh, but yeah, my buddy just finished an awesome mural in Athens. Oh, cool. Where? Uh, where where's the mural? Because I absolutely love going around and looking at local artwork. And I would love to see a new mural up somewhere. Like, I just went down an alley and there were a bunch of paintings hanging in the alley. And I'm like, what the... I didn't know they were there. I walk by that alley every day and I didn't realize until today. So, I love it. There is... Go Braves. <laughs> that's a lot of cigars. Yeah, that's the Lazy Shopper is like... It's the only true bodega I have ever seen anywhere in the South. And that it's like an actual little bitty convenience store. I mean, there's, you know, there's the food area in the front that I was in and they sell all the vape shit. They sell sandwiches and uh, smoked meat and all sorts of other stuff. And in the back, they have like a little section of, you know, necessary items that you might need while you're out walking around or that you might, you know, like batteries and, and some various kinds of universal chargers and, you know, some tools, little like, I think you can get like maybe a hammers and like screwdrivers and stuff back there, like in their little, it's a very small hardware section, but it's like if you, if you need something, you know, they might have it there. And I love it. And they have, they cater to like the college students, basically. It's like where you go to get your drinks and snacky food. And so, or it's an easy place to get your drinks and snacky food, you know, together and not have to go to like a gas station or something. So they have a really good selection of weird drinks. And I, I stopped there on my way to work and got a soda that's ginger hops flavored. And I drank it while I was at work and I was like, oh my God, this is really good. I need to, to get, give one of these to my husband to try because I don't normally like the way hops, t I like the way hops smells and like fresh hops, but I don't like hops like in alcohol. And this, my husband's kind of the same way, he's like, I love the way the fresh hops smells, I would like eat that. But he doesn't like the way it tastes once it's been put in something fermented and I drank some of this and it's like drinking fresh hops and I'm like, oh my god, it's so good and citrusy and like light and yummy and it tastes like you know a good plant that you should eat and I'm like this so I got another one <laughs> and I'm gonna have to like hide it somewhere in the refrigerator to stop myself from drinking it before he gets home I've got a strawberry habanero soda here so maybe that'll help that's that they don't like the strawberry habanero but I got one of those yesterday and I'm like oh my god this is my drink yes so I think that and the ginger hops this, this company that makes these drinks I need to like look into them and see what else they have? They're local. They're made like a couple hours away. So it's like a local company, local soda company. And I'm extremely impressed by their products. Let me see, where am I going? There's the Classic Center. I'm just trying to, you know what, I never go home this way, I'm going this way. This is one of those things that I just, I never walk down this way and it's, basically I just need to cross from one side downtown to the other, like the opposite corner, so it doesn't really matter how I do it, but I'm going to walk this way today, just because I normally don't. That's the classic center there. And Hyatt Place. It's great with sushi. <laughs> you know, I do love me some sushi. I I love sushi. 
There are a couple places around here where you can get decent sushi. And like, if you're not super picky, the Kroger sushi is actually okay. It's not amazing, but it is kind of nice like on a hot day to go get like one of their things of sushi and eat it walking home because it's cold. It's like, ah, cold fish on a hot day. That's nice. But <laughs> I love sushi. I will eat raw fish all day. I don't have a problem with it. Mm. When I was a kid, we had a friend who had a fishing boat and he'd do like deep sea fishing and you know, once in a while he'd pull something up that was particularly yummy raw and cut pieces of it off. And I was like, my brothers were all like, hey, and I'm like, ah, give me only a fish eye? Yeah, I'll eat a fish eye, no problem. Kind of like weird texture, but whatever, I like fish. But yeah, I don't, I'm not like, really big into fermented like fermented like Japanese kind of like fermented Asian like food stuffs is okay I don't mind that so much I grew up eating sauerkraut I guess so like that's kind of why but I don't know I think really it just comes down to probably that my dad's a hardcore alcoholic and I just kind of because of that I generally just like dislike alcohol and I have a, like, I am a little tiny, I'm not short, but I'm like, I'm skinny, but I'm like a fucking tank with any sort of chemical. It takes a hell of a lot to get an effect for me. And I've found that drinking alcohol usually, I mean, if I'm drinking like distilled spirits, that's one thing. But if I'm drinking like wine or beer or whatever, that it takes so long to have any sort of effect on me at all that like the sugar in it starts messing with my blood sugar before I actually start feeling like good or whatever from it and it's just it's not worth it and now I'm on heart medication and they're like do not drink with this it can kill you and I'm like okay well it's not a problem I'm not a big drinker but all right so <laughs> yeah I had um I had blood clots in my lungs at one point, um, and it just super fucked up my heart and lungs. But they're like they're they're quite a bit better now. Like I'm I'm like I can function normally, but I do have to be on medication to keep my blood pressure stable, or it goes up way fucking high. My heart rate spikes super high, and that sucks ass. I've been to the emergency room a couple times because of that. I like sashimi a lot, been leaning, been learning about making it. The problem is sourcing the fish and costs. Yeah. Yeah, it is so hard, like. I definitely wouldn't trust like fish from anywhere around here as like sushi to make myself. I mean, I would kind of trust it from the stores, but the the nearest place to actually get really fresh fish is like two hours away, and it's a real fish market, and you have to go at like three o'clock in the morning into Atlanta, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. And, you know, I don't have the facilities to catch my own fish, so. We're going this way because I'm nosy. I'm gonna walk down this way. Not right past the cops, but just over here to see. I just want to see what happened. It looks like fender bender up here. Yeah, someone hit somebody else turning into the parking lot. All right, well, that's not terribly interesting. I'm gonna turn here anyway. Go up Hancock. I stopped drinking years ago myself. It was fun in my early 20s and my 30s. Now it's more some of the tastes are okay, but I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, that's kind of like 
I mean, before I medically had to quit drinking, like, when I was in my 20s, I wasn't, like, super into alcohol, but, like, when I was at parties or whatever, I would drink enough to actually have an effect, but it just... <sighs> and then I discovered weed, and I was like, you know what? I would rather just smoke a bowl. <laughs> This seems just like a lot healthier for me overall, so, yeah. Um, no, no, I actually had to put a rule in place about maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I'm old, um, where I was just flat out like, I don't, I don't buy alcohol for anybody anymore. Because my dad would, he got... He almost got his license taken away for driving drunk up like two blocks to the store he got his liquor at all the time. Um, and then he'd get like stumbling drunk and want me to go buy alcohol for him. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't like <sighs> knowingly contribute to what you're doing to yourself, you know? I'm like, it's not. You know, it's you. I can't stop you from doing what you're going to do. I'm not going to try and, like, punish you or something for it. But I'm not going to enable it. And, I mean, that's kind of... That's generally my attitude toward most most things that are really unhealthy and I really don't like. Because I'm like, it's your choice. I'm not going to, like, try and force you to do what I think you should do. But I'm also not going to help you do what you think you should do. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. You find actual actual fishmonger, yeah, absolutely. See, if I live near the coast, that's one of the reasons that I would really like to move closer to the coast is so I could like go to the freaking dock, or you know, somebody with a boat. I can go. I can go deep sea fishing. Yeah, I've done that before. Um, it's fun. Some of the Japan streamers have taught me a little bit. You know, that'd be kind of cool. I don't watch, like, a ton of streams. Um, mostly because I tend to do other stuff while I, like, have something on. So I tend to... I tend to put stuff on in the background that I'm familiar with. I have ADD. So, like, having something running in the background helps... Helps me not get distracted in a weird way. And I, it doesn't make sense. But I... Uh, there are like two kinds of people with ADD. There are kinds of people like my brother who need like complete nothing, no distractions to do anything. And there are people who are just like, they need all the stimulation and then they can focus. And I'm one of the people who needs all the stimulation. So, <laughs> but uh, I decided so I end up wa not watching a lot of streamers just because I have to, you know, pay attention. I don't know what they're doing and... I don't know. I really should watch more streams. I'm just, I'm so bad at being social. I always feel like I should, like, talk to people, but I'm not real great at that. <laughs> Headed for barbecue. Actually, funnily enough, I'm not going to get barbecue right now, though. Oh, my God, that would be really good. Though I am hot right now, and I'm like, food, not what I want. But, uh... Right, like, across the railroad tracks from my house is the Pulaski Heights Barbecue. And they have this meat smoker that they run all the time. And I walk by there all the time like, oh my god, it smells so good. I've gotten food from them once in a while. It's, it's okay. It's not, like, amazing, but it's all right. Um, but I am going past the barbecue. Now, I am like super hot, sweaty, gross. I need to go sit down in the air conditioning for a while. I'm going to go this way and cut through the park because it's faster. Doggone good barbecue. <laughs> I have never been to doggone good barbecue. There's this place out 
in Danielsville called Pigskins. I don't know if it's still called Pigskins. They moved like to a different building, but it's the same room, woman running it. So, but I don't know if they're still called Pigskins or not. But anyway, they moved to a different place than they were in Danielsville. Um, and they make just the most fucking amazing barbecue. And they have this sweet barbecue sauce that they make that's, it's made with, they, they of course won't tell you what's in the sauce. It's like a handmade sauce. But it's either apples or apricots or something. It's some sort of fruit-based sauce, a barbecue sauce. And it is just so amazing. And like I've kind of kind of replicated the flavor of it by using uh, I, I think it's apricot based because I've replicated the flavor kind of using um, an apricot base. But it's really good anyway. I like the pigskins barbecue from Danielsville. But you know, there's pretty plenty of good barbecue spots around here. Bro, you ever get JP Doe? No. Hi, say my name. I will pay $500. $1,000. How are you going to pay me $5,000? Like, I'm just curious. What are you going to do? It's not like there's a donate button somewhere on my page. I'm a rich man. Okay. Going back to how, how are you going to pay me? <laughs> like what you want the routing number for my bank account or something you gonna like get my address and send me cash in the mail what do you that's weird normally people are like I'll give you a premium membership or a gold badge or a silver badge or take my energy or whatever free badge they have five thousand dollars I cost five thousand dollars So I just left the downtown area, cut into, this is residential, this is like, um, I don't know, what, what's the politically correct term for it? Public housing, low income housing, section eight, like, I don't know what you're supposed to call that and be like politically correct about it or whatever. We always called it public housing, but anyway, it's uh, apartments for people who have less than a certain amount of money you qualify for public housing which actually we did for a while we were on a list for that and then we ended up finding a house um, before but it's not like free but the rent is basically like the rent is like half I think a person pays like half or something of, or a quarter of what it would normally be I don't know there's some cap for how much like they can get charged and then the Whoever runs the company that's providing the housing gets reimbursed. I guess I don't know exactly how it works, but anyway, that's what that housing is up there for people who that's like the assisted income assisted housing. And there's some apartments and there's some houses, and like I don't think they're like super amazing, but I also, from what I can see, like I've never I haven't been in any of those houses over there, I don't like. I'm not a super friendly person in any way. I, I just don't know any of them. Uh, but I think it's, as far as I know, I don't know, know anybody who lives in one of those houses. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's what those are. And then over here, they there was like another building maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but there was a parking lot here. And they've torn all this up, and I'm not sure if they're putting, like, what they're doing. I assume they're putting another building in here, like some more apartments. Oh, uh, I don't know. Don't fucking parking down here is what we need. Nobody will want to use a parking deck there, though, and then walk to their house down Pulaski, because they're like, oh, it's like a block. Income-based housing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, we grew up, like, I grew up poor. We always would just call it, like, public housing or whatever. But, you know, I know that sounds, like, bad. I don't I mean, I don't think there's anything. Like, personally, I think that everyone should basically have some sort of universal income going on and have some place to live and just not have to worry about it. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like everybody should live in a mansion or something, but, you know, I do feel like there, there should be, a, you know, people should have, there are so many people here that are fucking homeless, and, I mean, it's, it's, I saw the other day something that made me really sad, and we were homeless for a while, I've been homeless, my whole family has been homeless together with a bunch of animals, and it sucks ass, like, we got through it, we managed to get, like, some money and find a place to live through lots of our friends helping us out. Um, but I saw 30% of your income toward the market price of the rent. Yeah. So it's like, so yeah, it's, it's whatever the, there's a sliding scale thing. And like, I had looked at that and looked into it and like, we would have ended up paying like $450 a month, I think for like a two bedroom place. And most of those, like, a comparable house I could find was, like, $800 a month. So, I mean, it's, uh, but we ended up, this house we're in now is, I mean, we're paying more for it, but it's, it's, it's in a much nicer place. It's not like, you know, we have a yard and some trees. Um, anyway. So, no, we were homeless for a little while. That really sucked ass. Uh, but the other day, there was, there was a homeless camp, and, like, they keep, people will keep coming in and finding, like, spots in the woods and camping, and then other people will come in, because it's a nice spot, and then you have a homeless encampment, and they supposedly put in, like, a new area for people to pitch tents, and it wasn't enough, big enough to hold all the people that it needed to. So a bunch of other people that were in tents just sort of got pushed out and are back, like, on the street. But coming out of one of the little tent cities, before they knocked it down uh, a couple months ago, I saw two people and a boy who was maybe, like, eight years old. And they were coming out, and he was, like, getting his shirt on and stuff, coming out of his little tent. And I'm just like, that's so fucking sad. I mean... You have a, I mean, a family, parents with a child who, for whatever reason, they got kicked out of their house. And right now, it's generally not even, like, some of it's because they couldn't pay rent. You know, people can't pay rent because they were getting uh, laid off, basically, because of COVID. But it's just housing prices have skyrocketed here. A lot of people, they're, like, ending the lease on, like, when the lease ends, they're not letting them renew. They're just, like, selling the property. And these people are like, what the fuck am I going to do? Well, you're going to go out in the street is what you're going to do. And, I mean, that's what happened to us. And it was just like, what? They gave us two months' notice, but it wasn't enough. Like, we couldn't find. There was nowhere. There was... Everywhere had been rented. They literally did it right after the time that everyone comes into the, the town. Like, if you had told us this, like, you had to have known before this. I mean, if you had told us this at some point coming up, then, you know we would have been able to find somewhere else maybe but we ended up homeless for three months instead and luckily my dad had a barn we could crash in uh, so we had a roof over our head and access to water and power uh we didn't, there was no bathroom there but like at least we had a we had a water hose and like his house wasn't too far away we could use his shower but it sucked ass and we were in like a building I mean, we were in somewhere that, and on a property that we could do whatever the fuck we wanted and no one was going to mess with us. And I'm just like, God, if we had been, and we ended up there because, I mean, basically I called my family and I'm like, look, I don't want to, I don't want to ask this of you, but we're about to wind up under an overpass. I mean, I can't, there's nothing else we can do. Can we please come and just like crash in your barn for a little bit? Uh, and we did. And it was fine. It was... Like, if we had been doing it intentionally as a vacation, it would have actually been pretty fun. Being forced to do it, not so much. And, oh my god, there was just... There was so much shit that had to be done every single day just to try and 
like survive. I mean, things you don't think about. I was having to bring containers of water in, like to drink with and cook with and, and fill like gallon jugs of water to have inside. And oh my God, freezing things of water so I could chill my lizard tank because of course I have a reptile. And luckily it was summer and it didn't, wasn't too terrible that summer, last summer. It wasn't like super hot. And the barn was shady, and it had power so we could have some fans and stuff. But I'm like, if we couldn't find a place before winter, what the fuck were we going to do? So it heat the barn. Uh, but we did. And I, like, being homeless for a few months was totally worth getting this place that we've got now. I'm like, it's if that was my trade-off, if that was my, like, universal karma bullshit that I had to go through to get a place literally downtown Athens uh, for super cheap <laughs> with nice landlords who just don't, they're, you know, good about, good about uh, accepting late payments and understanding about, you know, people don't have money because of COVID. They're not kicking people out because of that. They seem like really nice. Uh, generally get stuff fixed pretty fast. The house is kind of old and falling down, but that's okay. The yard needs to be landscaped, but that's okay. I'm like, that's what I want. That's cool. So they were happy and we're like, we'll fix most of the shit ourselves. You don't, unless it's gonna require getting expensive parts or like fucking with plumbing or electricity. No, we'll, we'll fix shit. So they kind of like us <laughs> do our own maintenance. <laughs> No, it's fine. Whatever. Like, don't, don't feel bad. I just think it's funny. It's like, I'll pay you. And I'm like, I mean, it's really honestly like, how would you, how, how would that work? <laughs> just to me, but I mean, it is what it is. But I don't know. Like, my whole family just kind of has, you know, it's a valid emotion. You know, you don't, don't dismiss being upset. Being upset is, you know, it's okay to be upset, but you know, you gotta, if you're in a, if you're in a situation that, if you're in any situation, um, being upset is, is emotionally okay, but it's not productive. Like, and if you just let yourself stay upset and focus on whatever bad shit you're experiencing, whatever you focus on, obviously, is what you're going to experience the most. I mean, it's like if you're walking around looking for flowers, you'll notice flowers. If you're walking around looking for, like, trash, you'll notice trash. If you're walking around thinking about, you know, things that, reasons that you should be upset, then you're going to be upset. And being upset just is suck, sucky. It's sucky. And... It wastes a lot of energy, and so, like, figure out why you're upset, and then you either need to do something about it, or, like, try try and figure out how to either accept it or change whatever's going on, but not just sitting around being upset, and I think my whole family's pretty good at this point about just being like, yeah. I mean, we were living in it for a while. Oh, my God. We were living for a while in a house that was literally falling down around us. Like, Literally. I mean, there was a room we couldn't use because the door had to stay closed. Because if you open the door, the wall would fall down. I mean, it was just, it was, it was really bad. <laughs> we were not paying rent for that house, by the way, just so you know, we weren't paying for it. And the reason we weren't paying for it is because it was falling down. And <laughs> we started off paying for it, and then... <laughs> And then it started falling down, and the people who were responsible didn't want to fix it, and we didn't have the money to move, partly because a lot of our money was going into paying for things that we wouldn't have had to pay for if the house wasn't falling down. I mean, you try heating a house that's literally falling down around you. I mean, fuck, that's ridiculous. And so, <laughs> I mean, it was bad. <coughs> um... Yeah. 
And so it's like anything above a house that's literally just fucking falling down around us is great. And so I'm like, okay, this, this place is not now. I seem to have a treat because if I owned it, I know exactly how I'd fix it. But it would be a temporary house or something because <laughs> this house.